Hey guys, welcome back to Whispering Willows. In this episode, we're gonna make our way through the basement and hopefully get a little bit closer to finding our dad and finding out what the hell's going on here. So thank you for joining me. Let's see what, let's go left first or not, left is a wall. Flying Hawk says, I sense a great amount of death and decay nearby. We must be getting close. So we're trying to help him. You must dig, Atlanta, and uncover what lies beneath. All right, let's dig. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need a shovel. I have seen maybe the garden. I really thought I would have remembered that. Oh yeah, and uh, we gave their music to this guy. So he's there playing music for us now. Let's go back to the garden and see if we can find that shovel. Because I imagine it'll be in the garden. That makes sense. Alright. Um, there's the garden. It's this way. Oh, there's another note. If you guys want to pause and read this, and I'll write it to myself. Alright, it's the first one of John Elkhorn's. Okay, there's a conservatory. This is the front of the mansion. This is the observatory, okay. Let's see what's this way. Oh, okay. Let's enter the well. Oh wait, Flying Hawk thinks his body is, okay, so we gotta do that first. Well, we found that bucket in the last episode in the garden and we just attached it to the well. Okay, my amulet's growing, yeah, uh, glowing. Oh, hey guys. Oh my, it has been quite chilly as of late. Please take my coat, a lady such as yourself shouldn't go cold. Why, such a gentleman, I thank you kindly, sir. Oh, I assure you, miss, the pleasure is all mine. Just letting you guys know that you're, um, you know. <laughs> Okay, that's the back of the mansion. There's a note. Okay, Flora LaRue says, I arrived in California last week and I have and have luckily already managed to find work for myself. I am a dancer in the local saloon. It is not the it is not the glamorous life here I had imagined, but it is something and that is all that I need for now. The saloon also runs a brothel in its walls, but I can never resort to such a profession. Most of the town is owned by a man named Wortham Willows. I have not seen the man, but his name is on the lips of almost all I meet. He even owns the saloon where I work. There are rumors about him, some good, some bad. I do not know which to believe. All right. Hmm. Tool shed. That sounds like where a shovel should be, huh? There are notes everywhere. I heard stories of this place when I was growing up from my grandparents, and we learned about its history in school, but I never knew who to believe. The stories from my family told a dark history of brutal genocide and inhuman enslavement of our people, the Quantaco natives. The history I learned in school was quite different. Wortham Willows, the forebear of this place, was depicted as an independently wealthy tycoon around whose endeavors the town sprouted. The thing is, I can see evidence for both sides of the argument, and that evidence is strewn amongst, the, amongst about these grounds. So maybe there was a little bit on both sides. Shovel! Awesome, we have a shovel. Let's make our way back to Flying Hawk. I think floating flying hawk. I think it's flying hawk. <laughs> okay. Guard no basement. So we need to go back to the house, the guest house. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, I found your shovel. You must dig. Alright, let's dig. You've been earthed. These anguished souls of the dead. Elena, go, get out now. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That's so cool, though. Find the person who thought that was a good idea. I'm baffled by this, Elena. I was sure my body would be found here. I remember falling, falling down into darkness, a pit of despair. Please, Elena, we must continue the search. Hmm, pit of despair sounds a little bit like a well, doesn't it? Let's go check the well. Ten bucks says that's where it's at. <laughs> New diary entry. There's so much in this place I don't understand. Why is there such a feeling of darkness here? And why would someone want to take my dad? Flying Hawk doesn't know enough to give me solid facts either. I have so many unanswered questions. It makes me want to cry. My energy feels so sapped from everything I've seen, but it doesn't matter. I have to keep searching no matter what. Okay, so I'm going to guess that the dad is a descendant or is the owner of, you know, the... The wealthy tycoon. Well, I guess would have to be a descendant. Or a son, yeah. Probably because of the time period. Okay, so let's go back. I think we need to go to behind the house. Well, there's something there. Petty Officer Holmes. I tried to take my girl into the old Willows Conservatory, but didn't have anything to cut the vines with. Thank you. Hint, hint. I think it was on this side of the mansion. There we go. Ta-da! Oh, let's look safe. <laughs> what doesn't break? Oh yes, we're getting close. I feel my body's presence nearby. I have a feeling this flying hawk's not going to be a good guy. This is far enough. My body lies in the dirt just beyond the walls of this well. Thank you for your help, Elena. I would have wandered en endlessly throughout this world without you. I cannot finish my journey to the afterlife. I wish you luck in finding your father. I assure you he lives, but you must hurry. I'll be watching over you. Goodbye, Elena. You can now, you can finally rest in peace now, Flying Hawk. Because of you, I know my dad's in the mansion somewhere. Thank you for everything. Is there some, anything down here? Alright. It's a very, I do not trust this at all. Spiders. Something that was done here. Alright, so... Hmm. I wonder where we should check next. Let's see. Flying Hawk's gone now. He's resting in peace somewhere. I'm happy for him. I really am. He'd wandered this world for far too long. I just wish he didn't have to leave me all alone. I feel a little bit lost without him, but he didn't leave me with nothing after all. I don't think I would have gotten this far without his help. And thanks to him, I know what I have to do. I've got to find my way into the mansion now. It's so big and scary looking from the outside. I really don't want to do it, but if it means finding my dad, I'll do anything to have to. I have to. Okay. So let's see. We can't enter this way. Can we? We can. Chapter 2, Wortham's Warrior. Hmm. Elkhorn. Sounds awfully a lot like Elkhorn, which is my last name. <laughs> okay. 
So we can possess the desk. Why are we wanting to possess the desk? <laughs> Don't think there's a reason to possess the desk. Ooh, switch. <sighs> Ladder! Alright. Cool. So now we should be able to go upstairs and go up that ladder. Okay, that door was locked. Um, let's see, this is probably the dead end. Oh, it's just a wee lass. War them's me. War, the, war them's me best mate. Oh, sounds awful. Oh, it's just oh, it's just a wee lass. War them's me best mate. Y'all won't be getting past me. He don't want to see the line, the likes of you. Me wife's more inclined to wasting time with little girls. My accent there was superb. You're welcome, everybody. So there's anything this way. Get my phone. Okay, so there's nothing this way. And that doesn't work. So we are going upstairs. I met a huge man inside the mansion named Darby. He has a strange accent that sounds Irish, but I'm not quite sure. He didn't want to talk to me much, but he did mention someone named Wortham. I think Wortham was the man who owned this mansion. We learned about him in school. He helped to create our town. I don't know why that Darby guy would mention him, but he didn't want to tell me much. He even yelled at me, so I left him alone. I don't know why he'd be so mean to a little girl. Let's go this way, because I think this is the side we dropped the ladder. Here we go. Oh, that's the woman. Okay, can we walk past this stuff? Yeah. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. So we have to go the other way. Okay, that explains that. Door's locked. Hmm, okay. There's no, so maybe we need to go back into this form and look a little bit more upstairs. I love that ladder down, but I can't reach it, so let's see. Oh, uh, maybe you have to use this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Trophy, what ghost up must come down. <laughs> That's clever. Because I didn't see a purpose for the desk upstairs, and I didn't think about the hole in the floor. There we go. Whoever had this place had a lot of money. Something down there? Nope. Alright, drop that ladder down. Let's see. Oh, we can't go that way. Move the commode. What am I moving this for? Let's see, let's go through this hole. Trophy, <laughs> I possessed a key. Really? Can you go back through this? <laughs> Interesting. Trophy room key. Okay, was there any? I guess there's nothing else down there. Maybe I should go back in that form and double check. No, I guess there's nothing down there. A 
trophy room. Have we found a trophy room yet? Must be one of those locked doors down here. I'm gonna guess the one down here with the statues. Nope. And there wasn't a door on this side, was there? No. So it must be upstairs this way? There we go. Today is a day of excitement, to be sure. I am traveling off with my best mate, Wortham Willows, to the great unsettled west. We seek our fortunes there, and I dare say we will face many a danger. I have heard tales of beasts and the savages that await us. Wortham is but a gentleman and lacks my size, so I feel, I feel it my duty to protect him along our journey. Without him and his, I do not know what would, what would have become of my family. The Willows gave us work when there was none, none one other when none one other would i feel it is my duty to keep him safe no matter what happens i will shoulder his burdens as best i can okay that was darby which is i think was the guy downstairs Interesting, there's a fox. <laughs> I just got a trophy called, what does the fox say? That's amazing. That's awesome. Grizzly bear. What is this, a note? I've enjoyed delving into the mysteries of this place. There's so much to learn, and I'm not referring to all the books and pieces of history that just collect dust. No, I speak of something else entirely. When I was a boy, my grandfather taught me to commune with nature, that it was the most spiritual endeavor I could hope to, hope to perform. At the time, I didn't understand what he meant, but spending time here has opened my eyes to the truth of the old man old man's sage words. I can admit in these pages that I've seen things no other living man has seen. I've ventured beyond the mortal coil and found the other side. I've come back, but not wholly unscathed. I feel marks upon the fabric of my soul, but what that means I don't yet know. All right. Door's locked, but we can poof upstairs. I mean, this crack up here. Ooh, what is that down there? It's creepy looking, whatever it is. Bison statue. What a cute bison. I don't think I ever anybody's ever said that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, if you guys want to pause, I'll let you read that. The kinks. Letter from Wortham. Jeremiah, I have sent this letter in secret. I need your help as well as your silence. Darby O'Halloran has died by my hand. 
His madness has overtaken his mind. Though he was my best and longest friend, I cannot bring myself to handle his corpse. And I have a room and a casket in the catacombs that I want you to place his body in. I shall visit it later. I also ask that you keep the grave unmarked. You are the one, the only one I can trust with this task, Jeremiah. I once again request your silence on this matter. Were them willows. I guess we figured out who killed him, huh? Let's go tell his mom. spiders oh she can see it even now I thought I oh there we go it glitched out no okay so let's let's transform and see what's going on up here that was that thing that got me hmm well I have to walk past it I guess I just have to do it quickly. Hmm. I don't see. Oh, there it is. No. <laughs> okay, so we got to figure out a way to get past it. Let's follow it. I wish I could walk just in this form. It's coming back. There we go. All right, go, go, go. Ooh, I don't know how I made it, but I made it. The tiny opportunity, a <laughs> trophy itsy bitsy. Okay, so let's go back through here and talk to Darby's mother. Not gonna be happy. I think she was down here. Or she might have been upstairs actually. Oh yeah, she's upstairs. Alright, well now we can walk up there because of the, we put the table. regret to inform you there was one other that knew Wortham's deed before I met my end I was to have a secret meeting with him tool shed four o'clock in the morning he was going to tell me everything all right wonder if Darby will have anything to say about this What's this you brought me? No, no, they're lies, I tell you. Lies. Wortham wouldn't do this. You're just trying to poison me against him. Poison? Huh. We were having scotch last I remember. But it doesn't matter. Why don't you just leave me alone? Bugger off, little girl. Let me alone. My wife, me wife Claire babysits. Go bother her, girl. Okay, it's his wife. There was his mother. All right. So we've talked to her and talked to Darby. So now I guess we make our way to the tool shed. 
All right, guys. Well, I guess this is as good as moment as any to wrap this up. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Whispering Willows. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.